So we use these swabs to collect the DNA sample, and they go right into the device. Let's do this. So I just open it up? Yeah, it's pretty simple. And just up and down a few times, you're collecting the cheek cells on the tip. Tech expert John Lem is testing no my genes to see what effect cannabis may have on me. He came up with the technology after a cannabis company executive told him about his bad trip when everyone else who had smoked the same joint was fine. He wanted to know if there was a way to predict or understand why he was having a bad reaction. So we did a lot of science investigation, determined that there was a genetic basis for how someone responds to cannabis. Using published research, Lem found three genes that play a role in determining how someone reacts to THC. The first gene, scientists believe, is responsible for breaking down drugs. Variations of it can affect how long it takes to metabolize THC. AKT1. A few studies show that a variation of this gene can increase the chance of developing psychosis from THC. And COMT. A variation of this gene could affect how THC influences your memory. Since Colorado legalized cannabis, there's been an increase of hospitalizations of people who have had adverse reactions to THC, mostly from edibles. So Lem believes this technology could help customers, especially when edibles become legal in Canada this fall. So for a new cannabis user where they haven't tried different product formats, this can actually help them understand which product formats they should be using. But doctors warn this technology doesn't have all the answers. We know that there are many factors that will influence how a person will react to cannabis. So the type of environment, the type of previous drug exposure, the dose, that is very important. So those factors are probably more important than the genetic variation. Dr. LaFolle says the genes Lobo Genetics is testing for have been linked to how the body interacts with cannabis, but the research out there has just scratched the surface. The type of study on which those tests are based have been done on a very small number of subjects, so the science is very limited. Still, Lem says the results can help someone understand how their body reacts to THC. What this also shows is that you're at an intermediate risk for short-term THC-induced psychosis. Okay, so, so what does that mean? It means that in the short term, you may suffer from stronger effects from cannabis, and this includes potential psychosis, symptoms like anxiety, paranoia, delusions, or hallucinations. The technology is already being used in five Nova cannabis stores in Alberta, and Lem hopes that it spreads to others across the country. As for your DNA results, Lobo Genetics says that it doesn't sell them to any third parties without your permission, and you can delete your results at any time. Natalie Nanowski, CBC News, Toronto.